Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today we discuss about chapter 1 Force. Every day in our life we do so many activities like walking on the road, jumping, running, writing, kicking the ball on the football ground, throwing the ball in the cricket, hitting the ball with the bat. All these are different activities but one thing is common and that is force. Without it, all these activities are not possible. In ancient time also, many people were eager to know that what is this force. Ancestors were believed that all the natural changes happening in the nature like sunset, sunrise, change of seasons are due to force, an invisible force. In 19th century, the father of modern physics, Albert Einstein, also told that the universe is working only because of some invisible force. The Big Bang explosion happened because of the force. So that justifying that all the activities happening because of force only. So today our point of discussion is what is force? Suppose you have a table. And a person standing on the floor and he is pulling the table in this direction. Okay, then table moving the moving towards left side. Suppose the same person in another case, in another case, he is just pushing the table. Then the table moving the forward direction. You want to open the door. What do you do? You pull the door. You want to close the door. What we do? Yes, we push the door. So in all these examples, we are applying the force actually. Here also applied the force. In this case also have applied the force. In the door example also have applied the force. In all these cases, we have done either pulling or pushing the object. So force is simply defined as push or pull push or pull on a given body it's a push or pull on a given body that is force now we should know that uh, yes many types of forces are there in nature and because it forces many changes happening to the body Sometimes body changes its state due to application of force. Sometimes body changes shape. Sometimes with the force, you can change the speed of the body. Okay, before going to discussion, deep in the discussion of all these changes, first of all, we know about, we have to know about what is types of force. Basically, we have two types of force. One is contact force and second one is non-contact force. Contact, the word tells you that contact means when you want to apply this force, the two bodies should be in contact. Non-contact force means the two bodies should not be in contact, still force is applied. Okay, first comment is contact force. How can we tell a contact force is existing? See me. I am holding a chalk piece. I want to hold the chalk piece and I want to write on the boat. If I want to hold the chalk piece, my muscular force are acting to hold this chalk piece. So uh, in this holding condition, my fingers are in contact with this object. So the muscular force, what is making able to hold this chalk piece is contact force. A person, a person walking, walking on the road by holding a suitcase, walking in the forward direction. In that case also, he is in contact with the suitcase and he is holding the suitcase with his muscular force and muscular force is a contact force. You want to throw a ball, so what we do? You don't throw a ball like this. 
you stretch your hand in front of you and you throw the ball so when you're stretching the hand the muscular force acting on the ball and through which the ball is thrown so generally the muscular force is generated because of muscular cells in our body the muscular cells have the has the ability to stretch and contract so when you're stretching your hand the muscular cells will stretch in the hand in the chest and other parts of the body the muscular cell will be contracted so that you will be stable and you can stretch the hand and you throw the ball so in that way the muscular force is generated and making the bodies to move or making the bodies to have some change so that is contact force muscular force now coming to non contact force in non contact force the body should not be in contact still the force is applied guess what is non contact force maybe you studied in your lower grade grade 7 or grade 6 yes you got it now give a small clue to you what is this this is north pole this is south pole so what is called yes this is called a bar magnet a bar magnet now if you keep any iron material like iron nail iron nail when you kept near the bar magnet what happens even the bar magnet not touching the iron nail the iron is attracted towards bar magnet so without in contact still it able to attract the iron nail so magnetic force here is non contacting force magnetic force is non contacting force now i'll give another example to you you know that when you drop any object then what happens it fall on the ground why it is falling on the ground everyone knows that because of gravitational force of the earth here also when the body like a ball is falling on the surface it's falling on the surface because of gravitational force gravitational force and this gravitational force attracting the ball towards the surface and this gravity this surface and the ball is not in contact so gravitational force is also a non contact force